All right, so the Lions got some uh, OTAs in, some practices in, shorts, in shorts, all right, no pad zone. Um, it says Detroit Lions, Jeff Okuda returns to practice nine months after ruptured Achilles tendon, all right. And it says less than nine months after rupturing his Achilles tendon, Detroit Lions cornerback Jeff Okuda is back on the football field, looks healthy. Okuda was a limited participate thir- participant Thursday in the Lions' third practice of the organized organized team activities (OTAs). He took first uh, team reps at left corner during a walkthrough period at the start of practice. Then spent part of the individual drill running sprints around the field. Lion coach Dan Campbell declined to give a timetable for a uh, return of Okuda and fellow injured defensive players Romeo Cordes and Jacobs, but Okuda rehabs. Uh, schedule says he'll be ready at least by the start of regular season. Quote, we'll see, Campbell said, to be honest with you, it's hard to put a timetable or timeline on that. Let's see, you know, what they uh, look like when we get them in the start of camp and see uh, what the next month of recovery does for them in rehab. So make that assessment then. All right. So, um, he ruptured his, 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 his Achilles first game last year versus the 49ers. Um, you know, he said, I think mentally, man, okay, fire truck, whatever. He said, quote, I think mentally probably, super close. He said, quote, mentally, I think probably the biggest thing right now, or already said, I knew he would get back healthy, but mentally he's amazing. He's in great spirits doing his thing, getting back, getting the, the Achilles and the whole body in general, but I think we're going to be excited just to get him back in locker room. This infectious attitude uh, around the guys. Um, like I said before, man, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired man. It, it's a fairy tale at this point. That's what it is. It's a fairy tale. That's what Jeff Okuda is to the Detroit Lions. It's a damn fairy tale. Everybody, he's he a nice guy. We get it, but he is not produced on the football field. It's as simple as that. Right now, he's a bust. I don't care what you say. On the football field, he looked like trash when he been playing. And, you know, when he ain't been playing, he ain't been able to play because he's been injured. You know? So, I mean, we can talk about that all day, but it's a fairy tale. That's what he is. It's a fairy tale. That's what Jeff O'Cool has become. It's a fairy freaking tale. Until he produces, I don't have nothing to say about him. He 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 is a bum. He's a vagabond. It's nothing personal. We see so many players come to this organization and get drafted high and look bad. I never like to pick, but some of y'all y'all love to pick. A lot of y'all y'all love to pick. This is who y'all wanted. I don't know what's going on outside, but this is who y'all wanted. This is this exactly who y'all wanted. I was talking about Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda, Jeff Okuda. You got him, and then people turned on him. And like I said before, when he been healthy, I just think his biggest issue is not athleticism, not before this Achilles. I think he was thinking too much. He was. It's a lot of pressure, bro. He 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 flirting with that Ebron list. You know what the Ebron list is? Being one of the fans, your most hated players. You know, it's not because people don't like him. It's not because he had Buckeye in Texas. He just hear about Aaron Glenn, talked about him last year, how we put too much pressure on him. He got too much criticism. This will come happen when you take somebody over Justin Herbert. This will happen when you take somebody over A.J. Terrell, and A.J. Terrell is produced better. That's just the nature of the beast, and they want us to scale back expectations for Jeff Okuda. That's what they want y'all to do, scale back expectations and make them comfortable. You Look here, you should have never been in the NFL if you can't take the pressure. If you can't take the pressure from Lion fans, Lord knows what you do in Dallas or what you do in Green Bay or what you do out there with the Rams or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. Lord knows. He's just – I just think he there's too much pressure on him. This might seem a bit premature. I just think he might need to change the scenery, to be honest. You know? I just think he's thinking too much. Everybody say he's too slow, this, that, and the third. Well, too slow like Tease Tabor. If y'all remember Tease Tabor, that's what too slow looked like. Honestly, that's exactly what too slow looked like. Tease Tabor. 
I think Jeff Okuda can do it. Even after an injury, I think he could still be a good football player, great football player. But I just think he got to stop trying to prove something. Remember, he had in his rookie year, he lined up against DeAndre Hopkins in Arizona and got a pick. They started pumping around and started yelling and screaming and being enthusiastic and being emotional. And he was getting cooked the whole game outside that play. He he listening to the footsteps in the dark. He listening to the criticism. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to guys like me. Just go out there and play football. And Amani Arari and Aaron Glenn and a lot of those guys in that locker room and coaches believe in him. I don't. I'm not going to miss no worse. He has given me no ounce of, of, of reason to have any confidence with him. You know, he's given you no reason to. But then again, he was a top three pick. You can't give up on him so fast. And I think you just want to get him playing fast. But at the same time, you're not going to change the defense to accommodate Jeff Okuda. And you got 20 other guys that you got to worry about. If they back us, Philly, and whatever it may be, starters. This is Jeff Okuda do better in zone coverage or cover two or cover three or cover four or combination coverage. You know, is that what's best for what's best for the rest of the, the team? But I'm just tired of hearing. I'm just tired of hearing about this uplifting. I'm tired of hearing about how good of a person he is. I'm tired about hearing about, oh, he looked good. He's going to turn that corner, bro. At the end of the day, if he can play football, he can play football. He can stick around his league. He can stick around his team. If he can't, at some point, you got too many young, hungry cornerbacks. That's better than him. Jerry Jacobs has already been better than anything he showed. A.J. Parker, Bobby Price. Melo Fonu's one game versus Green Bay, two, he got injured. That's better than Jeff Okuda's whole career in the National Football League. People say because of the injuries, that's unfair. It is what it is. Availability is one of the better, the greatest abilities. So we tired of hearing about about the potential and and you know just seeing like they really he's right here a really nice guy and they want to see him win. But at the end of the day, at this point, he got to show us. He has to show us. He has to show us. He has to get in there and he has to show us. You know, and if he don't show us, then can't keep him around here. But um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit on notifications, increase chance, get notifications. We go live, drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. She got Detroit Lifestyle playlist for more videos like this. You can find it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, video request, almost social media link description. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.